Hey, this is Alexander with MyFitLife and OrangeCountyWorkouts.com. Um, so, yeah, it's true. Kirstie Alley has uh, gained back all the weight, you know, uh, and more, actually. And um, so we're going to discuss that today. But first, I want to start out by saying that this is not a bash uh, Kirstie Alley uh, video. I really love Kirstie Alley. I, I, I like who she is, you know, and she's made me laugh a lot through over the years. And I really um, am, you know, concerned about her gaining all the weight back. But I just wanted to discuss with you what, why that happened, you know, and um, maybe it could help you un understand, you, you know, if, if you have any kind of weight issues, what you need to do to get on the road to um, health, happiness, and success. You know, because you look at Oprah, you look at Kirstie Alley, they have, un, un, you know, seeming unlimited resources and um, to, to get to where they want to go to achieve their goals. But they're just like everybody else and go up on those yo-yo diets, the highs and the lows and the highs and the lows. And there's specific reasons for that. Okay, when she was a spokesperson for uh, Jenny Craig, she weighed somewhere in the 210 to 220 range. But during her tenure with Jenny Craig as a spokesperson, she went all the way down to 145, which was really good. That's, that's, that seems to be a good weight for her. She's about five feet eight inches tall. Um, uh, since then, she has, however, uh, gained all that weight back and more and now she's tipping the scales at about 228 pounds so um, While she was on Jenny Craig she had to be accountable You know she had to weigh in and she had to, you know all the time and she you know Undoubtedly had a personal trainer and a nutritionist and all these people that helped her eat less move more and lose weight but the th here, here's here's the key thing you know she didn't learn anything really along the way okay she um you know she didn't learn the key ingredient that helps you not only achieve the weight loss but helps you maintain that success and transfer it over into every other aspect of your life and that's and that's what uh, is the key that's missing in oprah's life and millions upon millions of other people in america today okay um she blames it on eating butter and eat, eat, eating you know um chinese food and turning her workout area into a dining room and all this different kind of stuff but that's all just basic self-sabotaging stuff and and it doesn't t talk about the root of the problem and um so you know you know any, anybody could make you move more and eat less and lose weight anybody could do that but lasting weight loss and fitness success is a real, there's a real, uh, almost like a science behind it. And, um, you know, like with, with my programs, for instance, I have a, th a program called the 16 week total body makeover. And, um, with that, sure, there's workouts, you know, a five phase matrix of workout programs and, um, you know, the, the nutrition and the education, you know, what's bad, what's disguised and what's most beneficial for you to eat and all these kinds of things but there is also this aspect of the lifestyle and weight management portion where you really get inside of your head and understand what's going on in, in, in here understand all the limiting beliefs that you have the self-sabotaging uh, beliefs that you have ingrained inside of you it's it's like it's like a, a stamped on your brain and once you sort of you, get, uh, you understand all, all of these things that are going on in there and sort of reprogram the computer in there, reformat the hard drive to where you get to that point where you actually believe in, in your heart of hearts that you deserve to lose weight, that you deserve to be happy and healthy and vibrant and full of life. You know, until you get to that point, all the weight loss programs and the Jenny Craigs and all these things are going to be worthless for you. You know, they're going to be worthless for Kirsty Alley. They're going to be worthless for Oprah. Every, everybody. You're just, you know, they, they will always be on that yo-yo going up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, 
trying to be accountable to the world through TV and th these types of things. That doesn't matter. You know, it's been proven over and over again. That stuff does not matter. Getting inside of here and reprogramming yourself and, and accepting who you are, becoming happy with yourself, all, all, all of these kinds of things. You know, there's specific ways you go about doing that, of course, you know, but, um, but, but that in a nutshell is, is what's going on. That's the missing link. That, 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 that little uh, lifestyle adjustment, that attitude adjustment. And that, you know, getting to that place where you do believe, as you said earlier, that you, that you deserve to achieve your health, fitness, weight loss goals. Once you get to that point, then you can lose the weight and you can keep it off. But something even more important happens. You get to a point where everything else in your life starts to, starts to become better and better you start achieving not only your weight loss goals but all the other goals in your life and and things just start to brighten up and brighten up and more and more good things start to happen and better people come into your life and better things start happening in your life and you're the one that's doing it you know and 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 that's such a beautiful place to be you know, you call that, you know, you know, it starts out with little things and it just starts to multiply and multiply and multiply. I, I call that a beneficial domino effect. And, um, and, and it really, it's not that hard to get to that place. It's just a matter of knowing how to do it, you know. Um, so, again, this is Alexander Morenton, you know, with My Fit Life. I, I just want to end by saying this, you know, like, like I wish Kirsty Alley all the best in the world. You know, I, I really love who she is as a person. And, you know, if, if she happens to watch this, I'll even volunteer my time and, and help her achieve her goals and keep them, you know, for free. I, I, that's just something I'll put out there. But um, it, it, it is possible. But you just have to go about doing it the right way. You need the right mechanism to get there. Okay. Um, you know, most people are following faulty mechanisms. They have the determination. You know, Kirstie Alley probably has the determination. Oprah has the determination. You have the determination. Just the vehicle that you're trying to use to get there is faulty. Okay, so you need to get on that right path with the right vehicle that will get you to that destination that you're trying to achieve. Alright, so if you want to find out more about me, you can go to orangecountyworkouts.com and it has a little history about me and what I do and what I offer. So again, as I mentioned earlier, Alexander Morenton, thank you and have a beautiful day.